Hello, I've just found a very cool website put together by Google and someone called Team Magenta. It features AI technology and enables you to upload any sound sample in the world and convert that into either a violin, a trumpet, a saxophone, or a flute. So naturally, I thought, I wonder what happens if you upload some guitar to it. So in this video, that's what we're going to do. This is Tone Transfer. I'll leave a link to the website in the video description down below. You can watch the short video to tell you all about the project. However, in this video, I'm going to jump straight in and click Let's Play. The interface is extremely simple. On the left, we've got our inputs. So there's some stock inputs you've got, like acapella, birds, carnatic, cello, pots and pans, synthesizer, or the fun part, add your own. But let's have a listen to what they've got. So I'm going to click, I'm going to click cello. We've got a different screen here. So there's the lovely frequency sort of waveform just there. And over here is the transformation. So currently it's selected as none, but we can change this cello to a flute, saxophone, trumpet, or violin. Here we go. So that's what it does. But how does it do it? Well, the computer superbrain AI algorithm at Google has been fed all samples of flutes, saxophones, trumpets, violins, and it's called machine learning. And they said, this is a violin, then fed it, I don't know, millions of samples of violins. So the computer or algorithm knows what a violin sounds like and, and all the little nuances. And then when you give it a new audio sample, it listens to your audio sample and using its machine learning converts it to the instrument such as the violin because it knows what a violin sounds like. I guess it's kind of similar to when we as human beings listen to a piece of music and can sometimes pick out the individual instruments in that piece because we know what a bass guitar sounds like, we know what a voice sounds like, we know what a drum sounds like. So we can, in our brains, pick out those individual elements. So now I'm going to record some guitar parts, chop them up into little WAV files and upload them to Tone Transfer. <laughs> The guitars were recorded with my Ibanez FRM300, the uh, new Paul Gilbert model, and I DI'd that guitar direct into the audio interface and used Amplitube in Logic. However, I tried uploading those to Tone Transfer and there was just too much information. So it didn't like the reverb, it didn't like the fact that there were so many harmonics and distortions, and, and everything was just, it seemed like a mishmash. So what I've done is I've taken Amplitube 5 off and will upload just the DI signals. Now we go to Add Your Own. I'm using Chrome, by the way. I was told this browser is the best browser to use, and I guess Google being Google, they want you to use Chrome. We click Transform. This is in real time, by the way. I'm not going to speed this up at all. This is how fast the website does it. It's done. I'm going to play it. Notice it says None, so it's still guitar. We'll go around again, this time saxophone. I am very impressed with that. I know it's not perfect, but that saxophone was with just the little breaths and the noises and the little nuances of the instrument fit the guitar sample very well. Violin less so, flute less so. Um, but if you've ever programmed MIDI strings or MIDI brass or anything like that, you'll know how hard it is to nail those little articulations and how precise you have to be and play your MIDI controller like it were a, a, a trumpet or a violin. And this is much easier. This is Rift 2, click Transform. It's gonna do it in real time because it's super fast. Transformation complete, here we go. Gonna put it straight on the saxophone. How good is that? Um, trumpet? Now, something's going wrong here because the trumpet doesn't really go that high comfortably. You go to this part where you adjust the mix. I'm going to put the octave down one. It 
It's seriously good. Um, let's get some more. So I found the the saxophone and the sax uh, the saxophone and the trumpet. Sorry, work best with guitar. Let's go for another one. With this one, I've let the notes ring out a little bit, so it does confuse the system. Have a listen to it not sounding good. Um, here's the guitar. Put it on the flute. So it misses that attack. It needs that attack on your notes. Pop it back. So because I was pretty much just, I, was, I think it's an A chord, I just put the, muted the, the notes a little bit with my palm and just let the pick go down the strings. It, it didn't like it, there's too much signal. It's not single notes. So it doesn't pick it up at all. So you really have to play to the instrument. The riffs have to be kept simple. I did some that didn't work at all. So anything that's overzealous and, and really funky guitar doesn't work. You have to keep it simple. But this is free and this technology seems to be in its infancy. So yeah, we're at the beginning of something. And guitar, let's take it back to guitar. Really interesting the dynamics of my playing, how if I'd kept it the same as these two highest peaks, it would have been a lot more accurate. Let's try the one that's faster. It still doesn't sound great, but it certainly sounds better than the other ones. Also on the flute. Yeah, the, it needs more note separation to sound good on those two things. Here's something very recognizable. Let's hear the saxophone version first. A little bend at the end, a little at the end, but um, it sounds like this, really. And the final little riff has lots of note separation. There's a little gap in between the notes and there's lots of attack on the notes as well. So it's a bit more uniform. I've fluffed it a little bit in the, in the middle, but let's go to my favorite, the saxophone first. That last note's cool. Oh, you can find out stuff. Oh, that's good. Well, I recommend you do that. We're not going to do that in this video, but I recommend you do it, and I'll do it later. So again, I'm going to adjust that mix when it's ready. Put the octave down. There we go. And I'm going to increase the loudness, so a little bit more compression. Think of the future, man. I mean, that's in its infancy, of course. That's that's very much basic. It's doing an amazing job, especially that saxophone. You can probably tell that was my favorite. However, um, you do need to play to that AI. So it turns out the saxophone and the guitar are similar in terms of expression of notes. However, the violin didn't sound great at all, but I'd need to play the guitar more like I was pretending it was a violin for it to work. The same with the flute. So that's interesting, and I'll be playing around with that for sure. Another nice little trick is you can download these files, these stems. So you go here, and then you can download your original recording, which you already have, but you can actually download the flute, the saxophone, the trumpet, and the violin, and then you could drop those into your doll, and you could actually use them in productions. So that's fun, and if you just align it to your original sample, it'll be in the same place, the same BPM, the same quality, I guess. So that's Tone Transfer, and I hope you follow the link in the video description because then you can have a play for yourself. And while you're down there, you could also smash subscribe and uh, leave me a comment, tell me what you thought. Let me know if you've tried it yourself and, and, and give me your experiences. All those videos over there you can check out, and um, I'll see you either over there or at some point in the future. Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon. Bye.